In the beginning, there was nothing but the Sea of Chaos. Then, from the sea arose the Titan Gods. They were divine beings blessed with three gifts. With time, the Titans formed matter to create the world. With matter, they created two races and blessed them each with one of their gifts. Wait a second, three gods, two races? Matter, blessed with the gift of birth, was able to breed, but fated to die. Ah, crap, I read too slow. Matter, blessed with the gift of immortality, would live forever and never bear children. They were the immortal race. However, some matter was left in the void, dark and intangible. It was unable to hold the third and final gift it he was given. To he give wait, what? I can't read. For this reason, the gift would soon be forgotten. That is, until a horrible curse was wrought upon the mortal race forever, changing their fate, forever changing the path set by their creator. Ominous. Very ominous. All right, well, hello, everyone. My name is Monty, and welcome to The Wizard in the Slug. Now, as all my fan might remember, I played the demo for this game like two or three years ago, and I've been following its creation ever since. Uh, and it just came out like earlier this month, like full release. So I'm very excited to play it and get back to it because this is one of the best games I think I've ever played on my channel. So uh, let's see. All right. Yeah, it plays very similar to how I remember. Uh, obviously, actually, did it save anything from my... No, okay. I wasn't sure if it saved anything from when I played it before. Anyways, new game. We're in the Mortal Goo. The, the Mortal Goo! goo! Uh, gameplay only, no story? No, I want the story! The writing for this game is fantastic. No, you don't understand. That's not why I'm sorry. Oh, this is like the same as the demo. Bird! Birdman! Oh, move deep pad up. Wait. Oh, okay. This is okay. This is different. This is different. I think. I might be wrong. Do I? Am I trying to hit the birds? Like, what am I doing here? Oh no, I'm flying. Oh no, this is like the demo. Okay. Where do I go? Okay. <laughs> I have like, it's like the most available control. Oof. Fly, wizard, fly. By the way, if you think you'd like this game, I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description below. So feel free to check that out. I, uh, as someone who's been following the game for a while, I tend to like creators that keep to their games after years, you know? A lot of, a lot of modern creators kind of like start a game and then never ever finish it so very happy this game got finished and here i am the slug boy jacques no oh, what was that oh, whatever i'm going to sleep also do slugs do i guess they do burrow i always see them like on the pavement but i guess it makes sense all right <laughs> this is hardly proper ventilation. Well, you're a slug, so you're doing the best you can do. You know, can't can't fault a slug for trying. Valley of the Berries. Actually, sorry, I want to check something real quick, because I... These eggs are unfertilized. Oh, my. Okay, well. I guess, uh, guess we know where we're going with this story. It's Berry. Berry is harmless. Please don't bury, unless Berry bad. Bad Berry. Berry, very, very, yeah, very, very cute. It's a berry, a good choice for mixed herbivore carnivore dinner parties. It's a berry, or is it? It is. It's a berry, you name it carry. It's a carry. It's a carry, okay. <laughs> like this game just has so much like charm with its writing, you know? Wait, what's this? It appears to be a severed limb of some strange animal. There is no blood. Do the slug pick it up? Did the slug pick it up? Yes. The slug picked up the arm. Okay, cool. 
Another berry. It's a berry. It's a berry. Oh, okay. So I have carry. I have berry. <laughs> There's a lot of berries. I thought there was just one berry. Why are there so many berries? All right, let's keep moving. Oh. It's the wizard. The wizard's injured. Also, it doesn't have an arm. God, dude, this game brings back so many memories. I only played the demo. I wonder if the demo is gonna follow like everything exactly. Some berries are watching curiously, but don't seem to be much help. That's relatable. Okay, well, whatever. Have you come to end me for good? No? Not a religious nut job? No? All right, great, fantastic. Anyway, while I'm, <laughs> while we're on good terms, do you think you could do me a favor? You see, I seem to be missing some limbs. You know what they say, you mess with the bull, you lose an arm and a leg, something like that. Well, I did. Now I'm all over the place as a result. You think you can help me find them? No. No, I don't. Well, I guess I could crawl all over the woods. Would that, would you like that? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm happy to help. Thanks, bud. You're a real lifesaver. If you need anything, just bring it back here, okay? Okay, well, here's your arm. You found my arm. Just the leg left. I'm good as new. Cool. Berry. Berry. Give me that berry. Hang on, this has been a bad berry. Wait, I can actually kill him? Do I kill the berry? <laughs> a bad berry met his demise. See what happens, berry? Don't be bad, berry. Awesome. Awesome. I murdered a man. I murdered an innocent little berry. Oh, that's better. I may not be a mor or I may not be mortal, but it still hurts, you know. I'm charmed, by the way. Just friendly neighborhood wizard. Yes, yes, let's go with that. Or which, if you'd prefer. Either one is fine, really. Anyways, don't worry about little old me. I'll be fine. Although, truth is, kid, I don't have many friends left in the world. My siblings have all gone missing, or worse yet, been locked up away. I was until I managed to escape my prison. And even that, I couldn't do it alone. I needed the help of someone else. Anyway, I will not forget this favor you did for me today. I feel like I'm reading a lot of this wrong. I'm, I'm dyslexia, hello. However, I'm afraid I have more things I must ask you. Do you by any chance own a history book? No? Wanna be in one someday? Because I aim to change this world, and you know that's kinda hard to do on your own. Will you join me? No. Look, I know I can't force this on you. I can't promise it'll be easy. I can't promise it'll be safe. But at least it'll be an adventure you'll never forget. A chance to leave a real legacy in this world. And in the end, you might find quite handy having a wizard owing you a favor. Please, won't you reconsider? I see. Well, I guess I'll see you around then. Or rather, I guess I won't. To a life free of excitement then. Cheers. No, wait, come back. <laughs> the end? Oh my god. That's what I love about this game. It's just fun to mess around. Oh, Banana Man. Hello. What are you doing on my screen? I feel like I did all this last time though. I can't remember though. It's been it's been years. Hi, it's me, Banana Man. Oh, I got his name right. Let me tell you a little bit about basic storytelling. You see, there's a thing known as the call to adventure. Basically, it's when the hero of a story is asked to, or given an incentive to head off to whatever adventure lies ahead. For the most part, the hero will agree to this without questioning, as there wouldn't be much of a story if they didn't. But don't feel too bad, as a hero refusing this call at first is not unheard of. Now I understand not wanting to risk your life for something random, wizard you've just met, for some random wizard you've just met, but the question now it becomes, can you truly refuse the banana? I refuse. Oh, it says I'll regret it. <laughs> but, but. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's try that again.
Can I just repeat this? I wonder. I wonder. Oh, <laughs> you, me, adventure, yes? Yes, pick this one. Or this one. I'll pick the second one. That's the spirit kid. However, I do need someone strong. I'm plenty strong. Look at my tiny little arms. So don't hold anything back. Oh no, I'm injured. I'm really hurt. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that. Yeah, that's the stuff. I like you, kid. You've got spunk. Hmm? What was that? You're not a kid? You're an adult? Hey, kid, when you're as old as me, everyone's a kid to you, all right? Now listen, I'm very old, so I have to take a power nap inside. Ugh. Ugh. No. Gross. Don't worry, I'm not dirty. I wash my hands every time I go to the bathroom. Impressed? I mean, that's kind of, like, basic par- you know, it's kind of what we do now, you know, with global event- uh, okay. Well, I lied. I don't go to the bathroom. Anywho, you don't mind, do you? Uh, what? Hop right in, friend. Wow, thanks. I just get comfy then. In the meantime, just keep heading east for a while. This wizard's just abusing me. Don't worry, I'll explain everything in due time. See you in a bit. So I'm wondering if this is gonna be like the same story that I played originally, which I think was like an hour and a half of the game. I'm kind of hoping it's not the first hour and a half. I was kind of hoping it would be like a demo. Oh, that was weird. Huh. As the wizard's soul intertwines with the slug, it is granted the divine gift of immortality, not normally disp uh, <laughs> disposed, not normally bestowed upon any mortal. Should the slug's body ever be destroyed, the gift will restore it at its last save point. Hey, hey! Oh, it's just so cute. I love the I love the like art style of this game. Wait, no, the sign. The sign! What if it said something important? We're going back. I can't go back. I can't read the sign again. Son of a bitch. Barry! What does it say? Double jumping or getting... Oh. All right. Sorry, Barry. You gotta die for minor... Oh, it didn't give me anything. Damn. Oh, those berries were there to show me. God, I'm a monster, dude. Fucking slimes, dude. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I wonder how I'm supposed to kill it. These blocks were made for breaking. Very cool. Gotta love it. Do I really want to kill this innocent, cute little owl? Yes. Yes, I do. Ugh, what are these things? Get out of my way! I'm a slug! Venus head! Oh, I have to push him in, don't I? Behold, the fearsome mushroom, known, of course, for their incredible strong X, or incredibly strong X. Try pushing their spikes with your bullets, of course. Okay. Goodbye. I feel like I'm just massacring, like, a whole bunch of people. Not sure how I feel about that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I saved him. Oh, there he goes. Killed himself anyways. He knew what was up. He knew what was happening. You only lose health when hit while you are in your smallest size. Oh. So, oh, actually, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I will spare you. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's horrible. It's horrible. I'll spare you this time, Owl. You can shoot up by holding up and down. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I think. Did I know that? I guess I did. Yeah, I did. Because I'm a smart gamer boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. I love how the owls look when you hit them. They're so angry. So little pissed off owls. Hold the jump button to jump higher. Timing is key, though. Get the most out of your height. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So you mean like you can get like three jumps? Like, no, wizard! Hmm, a dead end. I was gonna make it! 
Fear not, kiddo. This is a job for the land's greatest magic user. Oh, cool. Power system. There we go. Some of my infamous heartbreak platforms. Proven to withstand the weight of a chinchilla. Impressed? Well, I lied. I don't know what a chinchilla is. No doubt a terrible beast with a name like that, though, right? Right? Now, for some, no reason in particular, how much would you say you weigh, kid? What? Why are you giving me that look? Just... All right, calm down. Just don't put too much weight on there, is all I'm saying. What exactly are you implying, Mr. Wizard? They won't support your full size. I still don't get it. Maybe a Venn diagram would help. Everybody loves Venn diagrams. <laughs> Look, it's not that complicated, see? <laughs> ah, terrible chinchilla. Just, just take it all in. Take it all in, everyone. Take it all in. Wait, supported. Nope. Okay, your size. Aw. This just made me more confused. I understand completely. Yes, of course. You're one smart cookie, so jump on. I feel like I'm being used by this wizard. <laughs> There we go. Easy. Easy. The Forgotten Shrine. Hello. No worship has taken place at this shrine for many years. It is overgrown with plants. Will you pray? Oh, it didn't give me something funny. Okay, I'll pray. <laughs> oh, please, don't bother yourself. What's the point of carrying on these ancient traditions, hmm? Do you really believe this rock is gonna be any help to you? It's not. It's just an old washed up relic from another time when things were way more boring. I say smash these things into pieces and make something that's actually useful out of them. Like a, um, like, like a big old pile of rocks. Yeah, anything would be an improvement, that's for sure. Now you're done wasting your time. Can we please get out, or can we please just go to these places and give me the creeps? Says the immortal, an old rock, it's overgrown with plants. There's a famous description. Our Lord, born of the Sea of Chaos, mother of all, our life and death. Okay, that's just rude. That's that's personally attacking me. Son of a bitch. Ah, better. Don't you agree? Hmm. I get it. It's art. You're not supposed to get it. So don't worry about it, kid. It's just art. Alright, fine. I won't worry about it. It's art! <laughs> oh, I love the interactions of this. Dark Slug. Oh, ahem. Well, I'm not sure what will happen now, but I'll just give you two some privacy. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Are you insinuating something, Mr. Wizard? Yes. Oh. Ow. Papa. Aha. Oh. Haha, <laughs> take that. You got a piece of hope. So, how did it go? Hmm? Not one kiss, not one to kiss and tell. Me neither, but I don't really have any lips. God, I love the characters in this. I just, I love everything about it. Barry! A berry waves at the slug. It wants to show you something. How about it shows me its death? Come on. Damn it. Is that... Is this it? They wanted to show us? It seems happy. Hello? It's a berry with a weird face. That's... Why is its face like that? Seems happy. It doesn't seem to do much else. It just has a weird face. <laughs> I definitely feel like in this case, it was just like a weird thing the creator made up and it was just like, I need to put this in the game. This one doesn't seem very impressed. It's jealous. It's not jealous or anything. It doesn't have mind weird face berry getting all the attention. It's a soon berry. Ah, <laughs> uh, great stuff. All right, toad enemy. You gotta just bounce off these bad boys. Now, why they put these bigger? <laughs> Sometimes bigger is better. Oh fuck. I've been tricked. Just, it shot its children at me.
I don't know how much, I don't know how to gain so much health I have in this game though. Ha, I did, ow. Okay, my health is now half. Great. Oh god, oh god, oh god, don't touch me. Don't touch me, Mr. Owl. Oh god, no! Oh, not this time, wizard, you son of a bitch. Oh god, oh god, I'm dead. You know, we're just gonna leave the owls alone. They seem pretty peaceful. They seem like a peaceful species of owl. Hang on, so I broke the box. There we go, there we go. I figured the puzzle out. Easy peasy. Sometimes smaller is better. Hold the fire key to prevent growing and stay smaller size, please. Wait, what? Release and grow back. Okay, so fire. Oh, that's cool. So you don't, okay. Interesting. Goodbye, Mr. Frog. Ah, another Mr. Frog. Shooting his children at me. All right, you know, we're just gonna skip this guy. I definitely don't think I need to murder everyone. Stop shooting your children at me! There we go. Ah, the banana man. What happened to your, your sweater or your, your bathrobe? Hi, it's me, Banana Man! Are you on an adventure? Yes? Can I come, please? Sure, we can use them. Bananas can't go on adventures. They're just food. Can do! Come on, give me a chance. You won't regret it. Well, I guess you could double as a food ration. Yeah, eat the banana. Oop. Just knock the shit out of my camera, great. Oh boy, oh boy, I won't let you down, huh? Nuh-uh, not me, I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Banana and slug, a team up for the ages, partners for life. All right, let's go, banana man. Oh, he throws bananas to help. He throws his own children. Am I throwing my children? Uh oh Get him, banana. Banana, you're being worthless again. All right, let's go, banana. Come see our famous death pit. The only one in the world. No lo no littering. Visit your own risk. <laughs> Wait, was that something I was supposed to... <laughs> I actually didn't expect that to be, like, a thing. Wait a second, where is my banana friend? Is he dead for... He wasn't immortal, so he died! No! That's unfortunate. <laughs> he doesn't have the gift of immortality, so he's dead. This death pit. What did you expect? No. Banana man. I'm kind of sad. I want banana man to come back. Oh, hello there, little one. Come closer, won't you? No, I won't. I won't come closer because we are out of time for this episode. Anyways, 
Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying The Wizard and the Slug so far. I certainly am. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all my future content, you can hit the subscribe button. But that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, wherever you might be. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.